I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Magazine. I'm here at Penn State, um, home of one of the nation's first master's degree programs in additive manufacturing and design. One of the unique things about this program is that while there's a traditional in-person track, um, there's also an online option for students who are currently in the workforce um, that involves a hands-on lab component here at Penn State. Um, so I'm here with Kevin White, a mechanical engineer at the Naval Nuclear Lab. Um, who's currently a student in this program. Given your experience in undergrad and the work that you do now, um, what brings you to, to Penn State to pursue a, a master's degree in additive manufacturing? Primarily, the technology is just constantly growing and constantly evolving. And for me, that's very exciting. Um, being able to work in industry while still taking classes and partaking a little bit in the research and constant evolution of additive manufacturing as you know it uh, is just a great opportunity that I'm excited to be a part of. You've been taking classes online and this is your first time on campus here at Penn State. Um, what's the experience been like between the online and the in-person components? Yeah, so online is um, what it sounds like. It's all online. There's lectures, videos, quizzes, etc. Being on site, they do a great job of really getting you exposed to the labs available, um, getting your hands on the equipment, on the machines, on the prints. So what's one surprising or particularly valuable lesson that you've learned while in this program? I think the most surprising aspect to me was just the variety of students that are in the program. We have people that are management level uh, that are coming to learn more about additive manufacturing. And then we have people like me who have only been working in industry for a year or two now. Just being able to work with uh, managers from GE or from West Coast engineers who are working for the DOD instead of the DOE. So it's been a great experience getting to see how they are applying additive manufacturing in their own businesses. So what are you going to take away from this program and how are you going to bring that back to your workplace? The Naval Nuclear Lab it has a Pittsburgh branch, um, which is where I currently work. So first and foremost, I'm going to excited to bring back just the facilities that are available um, to us that are relatively close distance. Um, the equipment, the machines, just the technical capability that Penn State has to offer that we as a company might be able to take advantage of. Second off, I'm hoping to bring back the knowledge that I've gained through this experience, um, whether it's the software that we've seen that we can try to implement in our own company or the physical design mechanisms that are being taught here, I'm hoping to bring back to the company. So given your experience here in this program, uh, where do you think additive manufacturing is going to go, both in your own industry and kind of broadly going forward? Yeah, so I think additive manufacturing is disrupting a lot of industries. Um, where we do things conventionally, we're now starting to think twice about whether or not we can use additive manufacturing to completely change the technology. Mm -hmm.